Race number 35. It's the last at South Africa. It's the Vol Stay the Distance Handicap. It's a one mile six furlong, zero to 70 rated. Very small field. Glenn uh, Craig Lady. And then we got Zabil, King Mufasa, Mandibles, and Mamma Mia Boy. They sent on their way. Zabil got a good jump. Glenn Craig Lady is back second. Mandibles and then King Mufasa at the early stage at the back. So as they just start to settle down, you can see Mama Mia Boy in front. The second pack of runners that lost four runners. They all bunched up for make it second and third. And Glenn Craig Lady looks to be doing the running from the back in the early stages. So travel down to that 11 and a half furlongs. It is going to be Mama Mia Boy for Doug Warren who's in front. About make it a five links to in second. You can find Zabiel, the previous winner, Daniel French, looking for a quick double at the vol. Then back in third, it's quite close between Mandibles. King Mufasa has a handy position in the white. And then at the back, a bit tailed off at this time, you have to say it's going correct. Lady who's going to need do it from the back. Um, and that is obviously trained by Martin. So as they travel down to that nine furlong, it's Mamma Mia Boy who's in front. Back in second, Zabil in third, King Mufasa. And then we got Mandibles for Jamie Hopkins, traveling quite well. And then uh, Glenn Craig Lady, just looking a bit outpaced now at the eight furlong. But this is a very funny track and they just get a second gust of wind as they turn in for home. They make that long stretch and turn in and to get into the business end of thing. And it's still your long time leader. The order hasn't changed much now. Mamma Mia Boy, Zabiel second, King Mufasa in third. Then you can find Mandibles. Mandibles looks to be traveling very smoothly, even though he is about eight lengths back. And then Glenn Craig Lady, who is at the back. So at this stage, it's Mamma Mia Boy, Zabiel second, King Mufasa in third. King Mufasa now just getting a few niggles from the jockey to go on with proceedings. Glenn Craig Lady has now said goodbye to Mandibles, and Mandibles is now left in the dust at the back. So four and a half to go. It's Mamma Mia Boy. How much does he have left? Zabiel looking for a double for Daniel French now. He's on the bridle in second. And off the bridle is King Mufasa. He's been driven from a long way out. He doesn't look to have much acclaim. Glenn Craig Lady is coming from the back and looks well there's three furlongs left to go mandibles is going to need to do aren't them all from the back of the field it's still mama mia boy zabiel is trying his utmost best in second king mufasa is back in third and glenkerick lady now gets the wake up call and is starting to produce each and every stride is getting closer look at glenkerick lady in the middle of the track he's eating them up and he's getting down to business mama mia boy into the last furlong zabiel finds a second gear here he goes it's zabiel Zabiel now picks it up, exchanges from, from last place also, we got King Mufasa, but into the closing stages, Zabiel looking to do the business from Mamma Mia Boy, who tries to, tries to rally again, and King Mufasa is taking off late, but it's going to be Zabiel who wins from Mamma Mia Boy, King Mufasa in third, and then it's very close for that fourth spot. What an exciting race for the Vols, stay the distance, but it's going to be Daniel French who picks up a quick double with Zabiel and he zaps them to the winner's box. Mamma Mia Boy second for, du for Doug and then King Mufasa, Mandibles further back and Glen Craig Lady looked like this was going to win the race at the last furlong, didn't go on off the effort. That's the racing from the Vol today. Cheers.